Welcome to the Heidi Thorne Show. I'm your host, Heidi Thorne, and in this podcast, I share my real-world self-publishing and small business experience with you. Before we get started, I just want to remind you to like, comment, follow, share, and subscribe. Now let's get on with today's show. As I'm recording this, my first book, Swag, How to Choose and Use Promotional Products for Marketing and Business, is celebrating its 10th anniversary in July of 2021. It's hard to believe it's been a decade, but I've learned a lot through that decade, and so I want to share with you what I have experienced over the decade and what I see coming down the pike for self-publishing. My first book is still my most popular book on Amazon, Kindle, and print. And it's followed up by the T-shirt printing and promotional clothing buyer's guide. Yeah, these are real page turners. <laughs> but I wrote them because at that point in my career, I was in the promotional products business and I was trying to become a thought leader in that space. So having a book was a way to create that thought leadership in that industry. What was interesting is that that thought leadership didn't exactly turn into sales of promotional products. Actually, I got speaking engagements, but they were to the promotional products industry, not essentially to new clients. So it was an interesting experiment. My third most popular book is this one. It's a 101 business writing prompts. And what's interesting about this one is that you would think people would want to buy it to write in the in the pages which are lined and they can you know, write their their thoughts or their blog draft or whatever uh, with a business writing prompt but I actually have made about the same money from the print book and the ebook and since the ebook is much less expensive than the print version of it I've sold a lot more of the ebook. Imagine that. The other thing that has happened is I have gotten into audiobooks, but that's only been in the past three years. So, this book, which I wrote quite a few years ago called Small Business Failures, doesn't do very well on Kindle or print book, but it's my top selling Audible. Book. So the one thing I have learned from self-publishing is that the market will always surprise you. One of the other things that has happened in the past decade is that competition for self-published books has increased dramatically. Conservatively, there are about a million books or so published on Kindle Direct Publishing every year. Amazon doesn't release those figures, so all we can do is guess. But uh, I would say that it is close to a million books a year minimum. And you multiply that by, let's say, the past decade. That's an extra 10 million books that are in the market just on Amazon. And that doesn't include the traditionally published books. And the old content doesn't go away. All the content, all the books that have been created to date are now available whether it's on the internet or on Amazon. Just by sheer numbers, competition is increasing. What really drives me nuts is when I see these people on social media or YouTube and they want to tell self-published authors that, you know, competition isn't a problem because you need to know your niche. I totally understand the whole niche marketing thing and yes, you should be talking to the niche that you are best equipped to serve. However, not all niches are profitable. Seth Godin talks about something called the smallest viable audience. The smallest viable audience is the one that can sustain your income goals for the long term. Unfortunately, most niches, especially very narrow niches, don't have enough people in them or enough attention in them to sustain your income goals. So that really just 
it's one of my biggest pet peeves when people just say, well, you just have to talk to your niche that you serve. Yeah, you can talk to them all day long. You can serve them very well and they can love you to pieces, but that doesn't mean that they will provide income for you and profit. The other thing that has come into the market for a while now, but it's just increasing our subscription programs, free reading programs, and most recently, Kindle Vela, which we talked about in another episode of the show. These are programs that impact self-publishing income because in all of them, you are not selling a full book. On Kindle Unlimited, you sell whatever pages they read on the first opening of the book. On Kindle Vela, you usually should give away the first chapter or episode or serial episode for free, hoping that they'll buy those tokens to read the rest of the book. These are all little bits and pieces. So it's really difficult to figure out unit sales. I think we're going to see even more of these kinds of programs come down the pike. Even Audible is like that. You can buy a book on Amazon and listen to it on the Audible app, even if you don't have an Audible subscription. But again, Audible is a subscription program, and I think we're going to see even more of that. So I've talked to a couple of my author friends in dramatically different genres. They're expressing their frustration with the marketing side of self-publishing. They're finding that their audiences are dwindling. It's just not getting the ROI that they have in the past. And truly, given all of these factors that we've talked about so far, it really might be the market and not just you with this extreme market competition. You're not going to be able to get the same type of bang for your advertising or marketing book that you used to when I had started self-publishing about 10 years ago. I had a really interesting question come in from one of my Udemy students on my course, How to Sell Your Self-Published Book on Amazon. And while he thought the course was good, he was really upset that I didn't give him the critical aspects of how to be successful on Amazon. That's a moving target, and it will continue to be a moving target from here to forevermore. So as self-published authors, you have not only the writing part of the equation to worry about, you also have the marketing. In fact, I would say that even a decade ago, and especially now, Self-publishing is more about marketing than writing. And I hate to say that because I know a lot of you really love writing and you should love writing. It's why you want to do this in the first place. But understand that the market is very, very challenging and it will just continue to be so. I hope you found that helpful or at least reassuring that you're doing the best you can when it comes to self-publishing. And if you did enjoy this show, please rate, review, and subscribe to The Heidi Thorne Show on whatever podcast platform you like to use. I'm on all the major ones, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Podbean. If you like the YouTube video better, you just subscribe to my Heidi Thorne YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you get an alert when a new video is up. I would appreciate it if you would share the audio podcast or the video with your friends on social media. And my self-published books, all of them from the past 10 years, are available on Amazon, Audible, and Apple Books. All you have to do is search for my name, Heidi Thorne, and my author page will come up and you'll see a list of all available titles. If you'd like to connect with me, my website is HeidiThorne.com. And I'm most active on the social channels of Instagram and TikTok at, at Heidi Thorne. Thank you so much for your support throughout my self-publishing journey. I'll look forward to talking with you again in the next episode. And in the meantime, have a great day.